New at 11, an update on a woman who vandalized a TV used for sermons outside of a North Myrtle Beach church. And we've learned the 21 year old has come forward, apologized and paid for a new TV. News 13's Adriana Lawrence caught up with the church about this recent update. The OD Church of the Lost and Found has experienced two different vandalism incidents in a little more than a year apart. This most recent incident they caught on camera and told me they've chosen not to press any charges. If Christ died for my sins and he was willing to forgive me, how could I not forgive somebody else? Police reports and surveillance video we obtained show on May 9th, a 21 year old woman and three other young adults were sitting in front of the TV outside of the church. You can see the young woman take her fist and hit the TV, causing some distortion. We've chosen not to name her because the charges were dropped. Reports say the TV was worth about $1,800. Uh, they tend to drink and have these things happen and that just is one of those things. Smart decisions bring smart choices. Bad decisions bring bad choices. Church officials say the TV is hung up outside of the church off Main Street for anyone walking by to sit down and listen to its message. Pastor Richard Wilson told us earlier this month the church streams services around the clock year round. Since we first reported on the story, the young woman has come forward, apologized to the church both over the phone and in a letter, and paid for the TV. Wilson says while she is not a member of the church, he hopes she learns from this experience and maybe comes to a Sunday service. You know, this was a TV. The next time it could have been a worse, maybe this saved her life from making a worse decision. That's my hope and prayer. Wilson says despite this second act of vandalism, he still encourages other churches to find creative ways to spread its message to all different kinds of people. Take advantage of uh, social media, take advantage of the opportunities that you have to be able to stream your services and be able to share them with people. Wilson says the church will continue to use their outdoor TV to spread its message and stay involved in the community. In the newsroom, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.